Is society over sexualizing black women? Welcome to Unified.tv, where truth has no fear. I want to address a topic that I believe has been ignored. I believe it's a topic that actually goes well below the radar. Um, it's about this stigma that black women are overly sexualized. Now, I'm going to tell you why I disagree with this. I completely disagree with it because if you will look at look at Instagram, for example. OK, we're going to we're going to talk about something that is closer to our fingertips. Look at Instagram. Look at the number of women that you can go on our profile and find an OnlyFans link or a Twitter link or a link to some kind of other page where they don't, they don't have any clothes on. Now, am I saying only black women do this? Definitely not. However, if you're volunteering to do this, you cannot do that and then come around on the other side of your face and say you're overly sexualized. When you volunteer to sign up for a lifestyle like that, you are opening yourself up to certain levels of judgment. Now, is the judgment fair? No, because no one should put you in a box. No one knows why you decided to do what you do and have make this type of living. So is it fair to judge? No, uh, I don't think it is. However, you signed up for that. So it's like if, if you're going to be an NBA player or NFL player or a teacher, for that matter, there's only but so much complaining you could do about how your limbs hurt, how the kids are getting on your nerves, and how you don't like sweating. So you sign up for that. There's nothing you could do about it unless you quit. So the thing is, you're opening yourself up to certain levels of ridicule. You're opening yourself up to some situations that may be uncomfortable for you to deal with, but you signed up for that. No matter what your reasoning is, you'll be better off going to Flippin' Patties at Burger King or McDonald's or going to work at a local food bank if you really are worried about your respect level being diminished publicly, there are better ways to make money. Now, further than just our fingertips, let's go to people like Cardi B, people like Megan Thee Stallion, people like, like uh, Nicki Minaj, and these other female singers who are supposed to be an example for younger Black women, middle-aged middle Black women, to show them what self-respect is all about. But clearly, they don't even know what it's all about. And they are the example for your children. This is where the problem comes in. Because when you open yourself up, as they have, being an example to our children, our teenage daughters, and younger than that, and these middle-aged women, they want to be like them. They want to live like them. They think that it's going to require being this way and hustling dudes, like in the movie Hustlers. They think that's what it's going to take to get to this superstar level that they seem to be at. These people are troubled. These people are very much disturbed. Not everything is what it seems like. So I'll say this. Black women are not overly sexualized for many, many reasons. Case in point, the celebrities, only fans pages and other pages where you take your clothes off and strip club. Now, not only, bla not only black women do this, but it's only black women that I hear complain about being overly sexualized. Another case in point, look at any video, any video, pick one of a black girl twerking on Instagram. Check out how your algorithm changes. Check out how many hundreds of videos are going to be filled up when you hit the search button before you even type anything in. Check out how many videos full of black women are going to be all through your algorithm page, whether they're shaking themselves, whether they're posing in skin-tight clothing or no clothes at all. Most of them are black because of how the algorithm is. Are these girls being trafficked? Are these girls being forced to do this? Or do they like the lifestyle they're living? Now. There are some girls being trafficked, but I highly doubt that the ones that want to be like Cardi B, the ones that, that, it, that want to emulate Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion with their tongue out taking selfies, a lot of those girls don't seem to be forced to do that. They think that this is the lifestyle that they want. This is what's going to carry them to that superstar level. So in closing, if you don't want to be overly sexualized, don't overly sexualize yourself. People cannot do to you what you don't allow them to. Do you see what I'm saying? You cannot put yourself out there as such an image and such a figure and then expect backlash not to come. Backlash comes with every industry. So figure out what you want to be, figure out who you want to be, but you cannot have it both ways. 